In this demonstration, we're going to show you some of the new functionality in the ADF Faces layer of JDeveloper 12.2.1.4. So we have a little application that we built here just to show you some of the functionality. As you can see, we have a form here with some fields, and this has built-in responsive behavior, meaning when I resize my browser, you can see now it's two columns. If I go and I make it smaller a little bit further, you can see it moves the titles on top of the fields. And if I go and I make it even smaller, it would make them all in one column. And again, if I make it bigger, it would adjust accordingly. You can see the behavior is immediate on the client. And the nice thing is that you only need to set one property on the form itself to get this out of the box. Another functionality that will be useful for mobile devices is in this list. For example, when I look at the list, I can swipe my finger to the right or to the left. So if we swipe to the right, we get an edit option, for example. Swiping to the other side would get us another option over here in delete. So those swipe motions on the lists are new. You also see here tabs that include both a description and an icon, and they are also available over here in the start, or they can also be on the end. So this is another new uh, functionality where we can add icons to the tabs over here and the text as well. And to get all of those behaviors, by the way, it's very easy just to show you in the code of our application that has, oh, let's look at the list, for example. You can see we have two facets here, one for start and one for end. This is where we have the delete and edit icons. For the tabs, you can see we have a new property which indicates how to uh, display and one option here is icon and text together. You can also do just icons or just text. For our form layout, we'll scroll to the top, you'll see that there's one property we're using here for layout which just indicates responsive which gets us the default responsive behavior for this form. Let's see some other new functionality using the ADFS's components demo. We'll go to one of the components, which is streaming. You can see the page is already loaded, but items in the page get um, the data later on. So this is asynchronous streaming of information into the page without delaying the page being displayed. If you look at the page source, you'll see that we're using here a new component called streaming. It has a facet called placeholder for what to display while we're waiting for the data to come, and then we have the area that gets populated later on. Another behavior we introduced on the client is the input um, search component. So let's look at this new component and what it offers. Um, you can basically get a list here and you can then search on the list okay, and pick value. Now the interesting thing to see here is the amount of network traffic we're generating. So I'm going to switch to the network tab. I'm going to clear this and show you that um, we did a fetch to get 5,000 records over here. And then as I start to type things okay, and I filter them, you can see that we are not doing additional fetches. All the filtering is done directly on the client over here. So this component basically gets its data from a REST service and then does all the searching on the client. Now interestingly enough you can do a search on multiple fields. For example if I search for tools you can see I'm searching in that column. If I search on Abe you can see I'm looking at the first column and that's again something that you can do here. You can also control how to display the information, for example, have a table with this format. Furthermore, you can even go and create this type of format for showing data. And again, the search is purely client. This is another one of the functionality that we added to ADF Faces components, and there are many others.